Hello everyone. Welcome to another cooking video, or should I say, baking video. Yeah, today we're going to be baking a devil caramel pound cake. A recipe I found from printfriendly.com. Uh, no, actually, making memories with your kids.com. Yes, that's where this recipe comes from. And this recipe was originated in September of 2017. And once again, it's a double caramel pound cake. A very simple cake to make, and I tell you, it is mm -mm good and very delicious. All right, so those of you who want to learn how to bake, this is the show for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our recipe, we need three sticks of butter, we need two cups of uh, hmm. oh, this stuff right here, <laughs> uh, light brown sugar. Yeah, that's what that is. All right, and we're also gonna need one and a half cups of uh, of regular sugar, six large eggs, uh, three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going, to, we're going to need one teaspoon of baking powder, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, and also uh, about a cup and a half of one and um, one and a half cups of whole milk. All right, so we're going to preheat the oven to 325. Once we're done assembling the cake, it's going to uh, cook for at least an hour and 10 minutes in the oven until a, uh, a little small knife or a fork or toothpick comes out clean. All right, let's go ahead and get our ingredients in the bowl. So first, we're going to start with our three sticks of butter. put this in here and this double double caramel pound cake is really really good uh, this is just man this is has you want to come back for more has you want to come back for more I even uh, made this for like potlucks at work and stuff and and I got my co-workers be wanting more and more it's just just that good so yeah this here this is a, the number one dessert that hit the jackpot. All right, so we're going to go ahead, according to the recipe, in a separate bowl, we're going to sift together uh, flour, sugar, and baking powder and salt and set aside. And we're going to cream the butter with a mixer. So I'm going to go grab my mixer. And we're going to go ahead and cream the butter. So now let's cream the butter. Cream it until it's about creamy. I think it'll turn into like cottage cheese maybe. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our brown sugar. Okay. 
right? And always scrape down the sides of your bowl as you bake. One of these days, I wanna own a, a, uh, a table mixer. KitchenAid, uh, I think it's a stand mixer. I want one of those. So we're gonna add our sugar next. of our bowl <clears throat> and now we're gonna add in one egg at a time so for this recipe we need six eggs so I'm gonna add in one at a time until all of them has been incorporated in the batter flour, and the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to mix this in there with the um, flour. That's our bacon powder and our salt. Stir that in there. Put it in a little bit at a time. This cake is very easy to make. I made it uh, a while back. Uh, I tell you, people just loved it. They actually chose this as uh, their favorite dessert over all the other desserts. <laughs> See, a cake is a winner. Yeah, so if you make a cake, you're good. Cake always hits the spot. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish putting our flour in here.
is all done. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for an hour and 10 minutes until a fork or a toothpick or a knife comes out clean. And then after that, we're gonna make our frosting. Now we're going to butter our pan. Butter this up real good. And right, once it's all buttered up, go ahead and put our cake. All right, now let's stick it in the oven and wait one hour and 10 minutes. Now, let's go ahead and get started on that frosting. All right, it is time to make the frosting. So for the frosting, we're gonna need one stick of butter. That last stick of butter. And we're gonna need, let's see, one cup of uh, packed dark brown sugar. Half a cup of milk, um, uh, one half of a, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and four cups of powdered sugar. So this frosting is very easy and very simple to make. And I'll show you how to do that once I prepare my ingredients. So let's start with uh, the butter. Nah. Yeah, because I know we got to put this on the stove, so you're going to need a small saucepan. And you're going to put your butter in there. And um, melt the butter in a, in a large saucepan, add your brown sugar and whisk until mixture is bubbling. 
So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with our butter in the pan. Butter melt real quick. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and uh, open our brown sugar. cup of brown sugar that's going to go in our saucepan and we need one half of a cup of milk Let's see, vanilla and confectioner's sugar. Okay, the butter is melting. So four cups of that and our vanilla. All right, let's put that in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and stir that until it, it's all nice and syrupy. And then we're gonna add our, put it in a bowl and add our, we're gonna let it cool. I would recommend you let this cool first before putting the sugar in there. So once this is incorporated, we're gonna add our vanilla and our, our sugar in there once this cools down. I'd say about maybe 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool. And then we'll go ahead and put our confectioner sugar in. Okay, now that this is cool, we're gonna go ahead and get our confectioner sugar and our vanilla extract. So we need four, four cups of uh, powdered sugar which would probably be this whole entire bag. So yeah, four cups. That'd be this whole entire bag, I believe. That's four cups. Add our vanilla in there. Let's go ahead and eyeball the amount. And now we're gonna add our cool mixture in here. And we're gonna give this a stir. And now we're gonna put this in a refrigerator. Stir 
So now that our frosting's done, we're gonna let this set and cool. And then after that, we're gonna take it out and frost the cake. All right, and that cake is done. So now it's sitting here and cooling before we put our frosting on. Here's the frosting, and all you do is just drizzle right on the top. Just like that. Mm. And then, of course, you're going to have a little left. Doesn't that look perfect? Mm -hmm. And there you have it, double caramel pound cake. Right. Well, I encourage you to try this recipe at home because this cake is to die for and it's really good. I would encourage you to set it in the refrigerator to let the frosting set so it won't melt all over the place. <laughs>